Yeah. Wendy Aguilar is live in Elk Grove with a tour this morning. Hey, Wendy. Good morning. We're standing right outside the home of Santiago Bonilla. Welcome, everyone. Now, this is what the home looks like now, but Monty over here, or El Señor Monte, sí. is going to help us. What did you say? Sí. Sí. We're, we're also practicing our Espanol. Espanol. Okay, so you're going to help us and tell us a little bit about this home so we can help our viewers understand how much work you guys have put to remodel this home and to really help our our veteran this morning. Okay, so what we had here was a whole lot of uh, roof leaks that were causing a lot of damage inside the house. So the roof leaks were coming through the ceiling into the floor. It was damaging the floors, the cabinets were shot, the countertops were all broken up. So in order to do really much of anything, we had to do everything. So we took the started place, from the beginning. Take a look at that photo. Stuff. Oh my goodness! You really cannot believe it because this place looks amazing. It smells like a brand new home. Because everything in here is brand new. We took it down to the studs. The only thing that remains is a few of the existing studs that were there. That is awesome. And a lot of people came forward and and really helped out. Yeah, a ton of people. We got a lot of help from our really really good friends over at Home Depot who gave us a lot of materials and they came over here and really helped us tear the place apart in the beginning and then really helped us throughout the process to put everything back together as well. Very deserving veteran. Also, he served in Vietnam. Yes, he was an Army uh, uh, Vietnam veteran. He, did, uh, he jumped out of planes, actually, and uh, he had some exposure to Agent Orange. Real sad story, but we're, we're hoping to uh, really transform his life, and we're really excited to present the house to him today. That is beautiful. Well, you started by transforming his home. Now, you also mentioned that the halls are a lot bigger than they were before. Yes, so what we did is uh, Mr. Bonilla has limited access to, uh, he's, he's, not, he's not quite as mobile as he used to be. So we widened this hall considerably so that it has lots of room to, to move through with uh, wheelchairs or anything like that. All the doors have been widened. Um, cabinets have been moved out of the way, so it's, uh, it's nice and accessible. We put in a rigid floor system here so it's easy to roll over in a wheelchair. Uh, there's a cat. We, we put some of the appliances down low. We put uh, the uh, new range here with the controls on the front so you don't have to reach across the burners. Uh, microwave down low. Uh, we did a lot of upgrades here. We put in a lot of uh, grab bars. There's a plug down low here. Uh, you can just sort of walk through the house and see a, a, a great number of different things that we did to make the place really accessible. Absolutely beautiful. And the most exciting part about it is that Santiago will walk into this home this morning and we'll get to meet him. Yay. And that's coming up on the next hour. So don't go anywhere. Okay. He's very excited and we're excited yeah. for him. All right. I'll send it back to you. I'll grab some tissues because I know you'll cry. <laughs> You're gonna